Good morning everyone, it's just before 9 o'clock Just checked out I stayed at the uh, Celtic Royal in Carnarvon last night I'm just parked here Parked absolutely fine, we're all ready to go Let's go and have a little look around Carnarvon first Because there is a castle um, and a little marina So we're going to have a quick look there And then I think we're going to head up to the Great Orm I've never been there Someone on Instagram recommended it last night Said I should go and have a quick look It's a headland made of limestone Apparently it's really good, so we're going to have a look. Let's go. Still got the warning about the old uh, key. Key fob. First of all, we'll just go and have a quick look then around Carnarvon. A little ride through, just a quick ride through. Just see the castle. Looks like it's all one-way streets. Let's see if we can find it. Just go right. You can't... Hey, it's a dead end here. Yeah? Okay. So, my hotel was full of GS's as well, so I've just seen, and it must have, uh, last night I had a bit of an issue, so I went into the hotel, checked into my room, um, checked into my room, and then I got a phone call, and I was like, who could that be, it must be reception, and then they said, oh is that Mr Richards, you left your, someone's handed your wallet in, and I said, hey, I swear I had it on my pocket. And they goes, yeah, one of the other bikers brought it down. So it must have been one of them lot. So they must have gone to have a look at my bike park there, seen my wallet, and being fellow bikers, the biker brotherhood, as you know, went and handed it in for me. So thank God for that. Okay. So this is Carnarvon Town Centre. It is Sunday morning. It's only nine o'clock, guys. So that's why it's very empty at the moment. Um, there's the castle as you can see looks good medieval castle I guess or is it I don't know oh there's another one on the top over there as well okay so there's Carnarvon castle and then you got a nice little marina thing here tides out It's actually really nice this morning. It's quite cold. Actually, it's not it's seven degrees, but it is going to get cold later. I checked and it was going to drop to minuses in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And there's the Menai Straits. And that is Anglesey over there, the island of Anglesey. And if you don't know, there's a bridge just up the way um, to get across the Menai Straits. I've never actually been into this bit. So we're going to have a quick look. Looks like some sort of town wall look protecting it in the olden days. It's great, isn't it? Definitely a place to come back to. Another day here and a wander around. How'd you get out of here? Okay, you go down here. I was lost for a second there. It's a beautiful castle, isn't it? It's a nice place, actually, and we're only about 10 minutes from Snowdon. So if you want to stay somewhere and then go and climb some Mount Snowdon, you can. Stay here. There's plenty of hotels and stuff. And uh, there's restaurants at night. Oh, and they've got bingo, look. So if you fancy a game of bingo, you can. Now, so last night someone contacted me on Instagram and suggested I asked for a few recommendations of places to go in North Wales that aren't normally thought of, you know, everyone always goes to like Clamberis Pass and all these Devil's Staircase or whatever they're called. Um, these are all the places where everyone always goes, so I just thought I'd ask for any recommendations. Um, one of the ones that was said was Great Orm, which is up near Llandudno. It is an hour ride north, 
but I've never been there so I thought okay let's go and have a look so we're gonna go to Great Orm first to check that out this morning and then after that we'll head back down into Snowdonia so stick around oh look at that beautiful Menai Straits there with the tide out it's actually a very dangerous bit of water apparently when the tide's going in and out you get a serious rip tide going through there all the sailors out there you probably know if you do come to Carnarvon then yeah I recommend that hotel I stayed at it was alright so the way to get to Great Orm now we're just going to sort of ride along the coastline now past the turning for Anglesey the bridge over the Menai Straits um, we'll keep going up a little bit till we get to Flandered No and then ride down through Flandered No and we'll have a look at the Great Orm in fact they set it in sat nav so we can see how far it is Great Orm Country Park is that the one? let's have a look yep that looks like it's going to the right place so let's go so I'm going to the Great Orm but I don't fancy riding back the same way I just did because I want to go down to like possibly go to Harlick and Barmouth along that way might find another way to get back there via sort of Snowdon instead of going back down this road but we'll just have to wait and see so looks like we're going to come back on ourselves and go up this slip road here okay so it says turn off here to go to Snowdon so maybe there's a way through on the way back from the off here the sat nav does tell me to go home this way sometimes it takes you all the way up by Liverpool then straight down the M6 oh there's the Menai Straits so look there's the end over there I see a ship oh let's see keep going up that way you'll end up at the Isle of Man more roadworks come on but you get a great view of Anglesey from up there there's all those ships out there look all parked up that is the end of Anglesey over there and the Menai Straits finishes and then we go back out into the sea I think that's the Great Orm somewhere over there that headland over there yeah so we are heading over there that wasn't too long a ride was it You've got to rev it, haven't you? But when you've been through those 35 mile tunnels in Austria, wow, they are long. This hasn't got anything on them. Oh, it's 11 degrees in here. Park up and have a sandwich and a coffee. It's long beaches along here, isn't there? I bet it's mobbed around here in the summer. So the hotel was full of GS riders last night, I didn't even know. Because when I got there, there was a space right at the front of the reception, so I just parked there. I didn't even ride around, so if I'd ridden around the back, I would have seen all the bikes back there. So, Clan did know, nine miles. Well, that is a nice beach. And the sea is, oh, it's like silk. Bloody lovely. There are a few things here. I think you've got a cable car ride and some random bits and bobs going on Royal Welsh Way this is Royal Welsh Way it's not always about the mountains is it we have to come and check some of these places out some of these other places at least I can say I've been here then I probably have been here when I was little but I just can't remember it oh, I don't remember being here at all actually so I probably haven't see and here's standard now and that must be the Great Orm over there 40 Cruise controls on. Ancient mine, tramway, cable car, and ski slope. I don't fancy skiing today. This must be one of those places that's absolutely mobbed in the summer. This is Flan Dunno, everybody. Should we go down or we'll go this way first? Welsh Rock Shop. This definitely looks good. The missus would love it here. It's got a Pandora even. She would definitely love it here. She's always saying, Oh, can you get me a Pandora bracelet? Just keep saying, Yeah. Okay. The Great Orm National Park is in front. Limestone headland. 
and I can see the cable car thing up there. I'm not sure yet, but I think that other road might have been better. It doesn't do Huey. I've got that road down there. I think we'll stop this now. Follow it around that way. Okay, we'll go down through here. We've got a grand hotel over there. Okay, let's go and have a look up here. The sea is still like silk. Oh, and they've got a pier. Toll road ahead. Okay, so you've got to pay to go around the Great Orm Road, which is fine by me. Let's have a look here. This is good, like this. Good recommendation. So we've got a little toll here, look. Pay here. Motorbikes, £1.90. Hi. Hello, hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Living the dream. So this is the Great Orm Country Park and Nature Reserve. Thanks, Thank you. And you. Very polite. Let's go then. Whoa, this is good. I like. Oh, and there's caves as well, because obviously it's limestone, isn't it? Wow. I'm glad I came to see this. I bet there's some massive caves in there. If you ever get a chance as well, go to Danny Arogoff Show Caves in Wales, because that is another awesome place. Limestone, huge caves. Let's have a look at the view across here. What a beautiful day. Good day for spotting the dolphins as well, because it's so smooth. And because we got here nice and early, there's no one here yet. So it's, that's even better. I'm not sure if it's one way or not, so I'm just keeping left. Just in case. Fishing boat. Oh, there must be a way down to the rocks there. Definitely worth the £1.90 to have a little ride through here. Great old mines. So yeah, that's what it is. I think it's it's old mines, isn't it? Marine Drive or Summit and Visitor Centre. If we go up there, can we get back down there? That's the thing. Oh, you can. So we'll go up to the top to the summit, have a look, and then we'll come back down, do the Marine Drive. We've got a hairpin. Oh, I'm so glad it's dry today. Nice place to get buried, eh? Looking out across there. Oh, so this is where the ski centre is up here as well. If we go to the summit, at least we can say we've been here. Oh, it's getting a bit windy up here. Okay, so this is where the cable car comes across. And a train. Still haven't got to the summit. Bronze Age Mines. Closed, reopened mid-March. Wind season, isn't it? Okay, so let's get to the summit. Temperature dropped a little bit. Whoa. Great views up here. Oh, and a park and a little calf look. Huh. Fantastic. Wow. So that must be Snowdonia over there. And I think the road we came along is that one where well, I was just going along the coastline there. And that must be the, the Ang Anglesey over there. But what I was going to try and do, instead of going down that main road on the way back, we'll try and cut across there somewhere. There's a lot of ships and boats anchored out there. I wonder if they're expecting a storm or something. Or are they waiting to go into, was it, is it Ellesmere Port near Liverpool? I don't know. Right, let's go back down and check out the marine road that goes round. It must be down there somewhere really keeps tight to the coast, doesn't it? Let's have a look over here. Yeah, it'd be great to come up here one day with the kids, bring them up on that cable car. And did no down there. This was good. 
the ladder popped up here. 4,000 year old tunnels, it says. Mind me. Ah, so nice being up here so early on a Sunday morning as well because there's literally no one about. There's one or two cars, but there's one. But yeah, it's pretty good. What's up there? Caution. Sheep grazing, farm access only. This is awesome. The actual road is down there, believe it or not. Just that road alone is a feat of engineering in itself. The way they got it to stay there like that. Right on the edge of the cliff. Considering it's limestone. Okay, so it is one way from now. Okay, so now we're going back along the marine road around the headland. So at this point guys, I thought I'd take a picture, because it's nice isn't it? Uh oh! Shit! Well that was good. Oh, at least I got the crash pass. Normally when it falls over, it's just on the mud and stuff, so it's fine. But when it falls over on this kind of road, it's like... Because it was a hell of a crunch that was, but at least I've got the crash pass. Like. The bike's alright, I've checked everywhere else, the bike's alright everywhere. Everything's fine. Just that cr I should have got those bloody things that people have been telling me to get. You know those crash bar protectors? It's just these little plastic bits that go on the corners. Should have got some of them. Never mind, eh? Okay, so, looks like we are reaching the end of the Great Orm. Now we've got to try and find a way back across towards Snowdon. Flamberis. But I don't want to go down to Carnarvon again. So I'll need to have a quick look at the map in a minute. That was good, that was. I like that. Apart from the bike falling bit. <laughs> Still great here, look. Lovely beach. This place must be packed in some. Okay, so we need to have a look at the map now to decide what way we're going to go back across towards Snowdon. Let's have a look. We'll pull over down here. Let's park up here for a minute. 